if promises of God to Israel not fulfilled yet now apply to the church, where in the New Testament does it say this? Um, Pastor Anthony, why don't we, I, I guess it's probably, it's more so directed at you, Pastor Tommy. So let's start with you. Yeah, man, I'm glad to ask that question because I didn't get to this. I had it in my notes, but Hebrews, all right, who's Hebrews written to? Hebrews, right? It says, God who at, in verse, chapter one, verse one, God who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the worlds. Jesus Christ inherits all things. Why? Because he's the only one that fulfilled the law. Jesus fulfilled all the things and all of the prophetic promises can be fulfilled in Jesus Christ because he took on him the seed of Abraham. That's explained right uh, here in Ch Hebrews chapter one. We won't go into all that. So all those promises that God made Israel, everybody understands they don't have to go to every single person that came from Israel. It, the fact that there was a seed that God was able to uh, preserve that seed through Jesus Christ shows that he fulfilled the promises that those laws were given uh, because of transgressions until the seed came to whom the promises were made. That's what it says in Galatians three, Jesus was that seed. And so Jesus inherits all things. So all the promises that were to Israel, Jesus Christ possessed all those things. And we are joint heirs with Christ. So again, what promise did God give to Israel that Jesus does not have claim to? And what promise does Jesus have claim to that I don't have claim to as a joint heir with Christ? So uh, Hebrews couldn't be more clear. The apostle Paul talked about the inheritance of the saints. And he talked about how we as a church, we are we have a part in that. Do a study sometime just on the inheritance. Look up all the uh, references in the New Testament to the inheritance, the inheritance of the saints. And then, and I dare you to try to separate that inheritance from the one that God to promised to Abraham, the one that God promised to Israel. You can't do it. Those inheritances were given to Jesus Christ. God chose to fulfill his promises through the elect, through his elect, Jesus Christ, through the chosen one, Jesus Christ. And as a joint heir, I have claim to those things. Perfect timing. That's two minutes. Thank you so much, Tommy. Uh, Pastor Anthony, over to you. What promises can uh, you not lay claim to that was promised to Jesus Christ? Well, well, for one, to sit on the throne of David. I mean, that was directly to Jesus Christ and can't be fulfilled by the nation of Israel. Uh, that was a covenant. Um, the promises to Israel can be fulfilled and also be fulfilled to the firstborn amongst the group, which is was just Jesus Christ. And again, I would say that to be part of the of Israel that receives these promises, they, they would need to believe they're going to believe it's not unbelieving Israel that does that. So Jesus Christ does win these uh, promises does um, f because of his obedience, but it's still to that same group of people. Um, so I, that's, I would say so the, to the question, I'd probably say uh, the, the New Testament doesn't say this. Um, what about Revelation 321? To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Is that not the throne of David? Well, of, of course, but it's not the, the, the fulfillment of, of was of 1 Samuel 7 in regards to I will establish this throne forever. Uh, it's That's to Jesus. It's not Hebrews 1. uh to your God, oh God, the, the, the throne of your father. I mean, that's t directly to Jesus Christ. You, you, you don't claim to you're receiving that. You're not part of the fulfillment of, of the Davidic covenant, are you? I mean, I'm going to sit with him on his throne. I, you know, again, I don't, I'm not taking any credit for it. You know, the fact that I'm able to sit there is because of what he did for me. You know, because of his cleansing he gave me, because he's sharing his inheritance with him. I mean, all, all glory goes to, to Jesus Christ for that. But again, he inherited all things. Again, all Jesus will sit on the throne of David. Jesus took on the role of high priest. Jesus did everything. Again, these are these things, all the promises, all the inheritance, it's all about Jesus Christ. So when you and, would agree with the question then, you would say that it doesn't say that then. Right. It just, uh, it's yeah, a, because I'm a joint heir with Christ. So again, okay. I don't see anything coming for a, for a physical people. 
because so they're, they're, again, there's, say, you're, you're saying out there these people have some promises coming to them. No, the only promises ones. they have coming is judgment. Yeah, but save Jews, go right here, and I'm with them. As a nation, Israel is our, it's a nation of unbelievers. It will be a nation of believers when he returns. That's what Paul says. It'll be it'll be this when he returns. Okay, yes. And I'm and I'm with that. But as a nation, you're right. They will turn and believe. So so what do they have that I don't? I, I got I everything. didn't say that they do. I haven't made that point. I'm just saying there is a future for Israel. Well, That's I'm just saying if debated. both promises to God to Israel are fulfilled, yet now apply to the church, where did the New Testament say this? Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. But it doesn't oh. apply to the Well, so you're saying it applies to the church. Uh, yeah, the, as, the promises that God made to Israel, those promises are fulfilled by God giving those things to Jesus. That's so God they, fulfilling his promise to Israel? to Israel. Were they ever made to Israel? Was that ever? Did they yeah, ever? Jesus was from Israel. So okay. the fact that Jesus will possess those things is Israel possessing those things. All right. So it, it's so, not, it's not these guys possessing those things. No, no, but what I'm saying is you're not, you're, you're not saying they it changed. It's what promise to the, to whom the promise was made. The promise is, has been fulfilled. It will be fulfilled. There's been no change at all. Right. Yeah. I, Okay, there. I mean, there because there are people who would disagree with me. They would say, "No, that's not the other view. It, 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 it did change. That's not what you're saying. You're saying to whom the promise was made in the Old Testament, all those promises. There's been no change. It's been fulfilled exactly like Scripture stated. Okay, mm -hmm. 